to tell them what's happening. And you got to tighten up. Ain't no prophet coming now, right? There is some hope. Remember, uh, just think when we went to demonstrations. Remember those innocent looking white kids and around and all the Negro kids? You know what they grew up on? Power Rangers and all that stuff. They grew up on all that. They grew up on all that. They're not expecting no prophet to come like Moses come float down. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Don't leave that calf alone. They're expecting some group or some people to come and look at all of this stuff and see this is a gigantic problem that cannot be solved. And then the nigga going to come, got to be a nigga. That's why they change it. They say, man, the white folks can do it because he part of it. They didn't say part of the problem. But the nigga going to morph up, the nigga and the group. Is going to morph up, not by himself, but with the help and assistance of all that. We're not but a minute away from the world looking around and start looking for each other. The ones is, uh, you know, everybody not on Down's them side, and everybody's not. The world is waking up. The world, when I say the world, now remember, the old white folks, the old folks, they're not necessarily waking up. They're not waking up, okay? But the young people see all the debt that they accumulated, they're going to send it express mail to the people is 15, 20, and 25, and 30 years old. They said, that ain't, ain't we into that. Right? And the people that desire and demand change are the typical crew. Like in the 60s, it was the young people. In the Paris Rebellion, in the 1830s, it was the young people. It's always the young people, but, but this time, they're prepared, and we're prepared to join with them. And I think they're prepared for a, a Negroid type of a person. I think they're prepared for it. And then you got to be optimistic now. There's people inside of the system that don't have the courage yet. But you have to assume. Remember when we was down there downtown and the police come by, Asalaamu Alaikum and all that. They might be playing. Don't worry. Whatever the white man tell them to do, they're going to do it. But it don't make no difference. We got cut off what was that other Negro police? We got cut off at the corner, right? What is he cutting us off? He's cutting us off to talk to us. You put it on the thing, right? Yeah, on Facebook. I mean, we're not imagining stuff. We know what we we know where we are, and we know they know where we are, and we know that they're in confusion. They're confused. And I'm telling you the truth. We're doing every time, everything we can to psychologically comfort those people that need it. Okay, take it easy. Oh, they got to get up a little bit. That's what we're doing. That's what all of our talks are about. It's about the whole society because we're not going to get the, I don't believe, it may be, that the Islamic movement rise up, but they got the Zionists watching the Muslims so bad. It ain't three. Well, I know it's more than that. But functioning Muslims in America that really is three or four maybe. 
Zionists ain't putting up with that. That's good. It would be bad. But you see, now this is where optimism, kindness, and I don't want to use the word love, but I'll go on and use it. Because this thing will be done not by revenge, retribution. Uh, The people that do this, they're going to have to care about the world, the earth. They're going to have to care about humanity. They're going to have to care about animal life. They're going to have to, you know, that's, those are the people that's going to fix this thing. Yeah. And I think that this is where the transition is coming from. So we got plans. I'll go over our plans right quick. Number one, 4481, whatever it is. Number two, right there. And number three, colleges and universities, you know, black people help yourself, you know, all of that type of stuff. And then our movement goals and platform. But I have to tell you, our platform fits in with the global human potential movement. It always had. This is not a new discussion, but this is the way that is felt from way back because this analysis is not a new analysis. You've probably heard bits and pieces of this all along. So probably the way it looks now is is that it depends on people like us that want to be involved in the global transition. But the planning and all of that is moving so fast that a plan you had last month, and it don't, hey man, boss man, if you said, we got a, it's seven buckets of smut in the water. We got to clean that up. And you get a plan to clean up seven buckets of smut. By the time you get there with your people, it's 15 buckets of smut, right? The thing is going, the decline of the world is happening so fast. I mean, uh, just imagine and there's no good news. Ain't nobody said, well, the global warming is getting cooler. It's just nice this year. We got a good year. They don't say that. They said by 2050, it was going to be this way. It's going to be that way by 2035, right? That's, that's the trend. It don't have to be the exact date. I'm just saying that's the trend. And guess who lives on this earth? Why you live here? And your children are going to live here. Unless they're going to like Mars or somewhere like that. Which you think they're going to let niggas get on there and go to Mars? And what would they have to produce on Mars? They would have to live in a glass bubble where they produce the same type of uh, da 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 that they got here. And it ain't nothing like the big sky of Montana. Right? And you go places... And you still see fresh water. Boy, that's nice. Fresh, cool water. Those days is getting slim. Nice little trout in the stream. And you can dip your cup down and drink the water. Very few. Very few. You drink the water now, you'll be gasping. Trying to get your breath and everything. Turning colors. (laughs) It could be turning red and green. Okay, Excuse me. Okay, let me review what we went over. 
Boss man is trapped in the headlights of history. You know where I'm coming at him. He freezes. Congress is froze. The Senate is froze. They can't do anything. The governors ain't nobody doing nothing. And then in America, they come back this week with the, 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 the virus. It took about two weeks off. And it's good God Almighty, it took two weeks off. And they say, oh, y'all don't want to do right? Well, let me come on. And he, the virus is supposed to be, I don't know, I don't pay attention to euros. Supposed to be killing more folks now. <laughs> good God Almighty. What does everybody want? You remember the plagues and all that during Moses' time? He just had nine plagues. Hell, we got 15 or 20 plagues right now. Global climate plague, this plague, right? We got, what does people want? They read in the scripture. They, they ain't moving. The Christians, they Oh, man, y'all got the same, some of the same stuff. I say, well, y'all do have the Lord. He going to save you. Trinity. Yeah, they going to be raptured up. I forgot. But it's only going to be 144,000, right? That ain't but about the half of the one third. That's about the southeast. That part of southeast. Right? So they're going to be ready. It ain't going to be a whole list of 144,000. That's what I remember. Does anybody remember those numbers? I didn't know that was the limit. I didn't know that. Remember the 5 Yeah. No, the 5 percentage. Yeah, well, they, uh, you know, all them percentages is going out the window. 5 percenters. Now they got 3 percenters. But I'm telling you, do you want to trust the, the the life of your children to these crackpots. Think about it. You know, we're taking a chance going along with this stuff, not fighting against it. When I mean fighting against it, I don't mean physically we're going to fight them. This is not that. You can't declare war on the air and war on, we're going to defeat the, well, we got the carbon defense department and all that, but uh, you know, anyway. Then the concept of the mother tree that feeds all the other forest trees and heals them, and that's the first one they cut down, that big tree. <gasps> Mahogany! And they go in Indonesia, Malaysia, and there's about three more left. They cut them boys down. And it takes centuries for them trees to grow. And they won't let other trees get that big. As soon as they start looking at they they're so greedy, they just get that boy. So the, they're destroying the molecular makeup of the forest and the world. It's, they just, okay. Now, the only thing I feel kind of certain about uh, this stuff coming up. We're going back to California soon. We're going to go through uh, the little program. But the little program that, that, that we have on the thing to uh, sue the government for $200 million and stuff like that, that's small change for now. Whatever, whoever they got, or whoever they select, they got to get a team of social workers, FBI, da, 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 scientists, and they go over the records and they select a nigga or a cracker, somebody that they're going to make famous to help them do all of this. Now, I'm running for the job. Here's why. This is why. It's not politics like you vote for me and I'll set you free. But technically, I went through everything that uh, they got. 
you can't select nobody that ain't never had no money. Of course, that's the first thing to get. You can't select nobody that uh, haven't had enough cutie pies or still at the age where he really run after them. I'm a senior citizen. I ain't got no time for no cutie pie. I don't even think about them anymore. I put all of my energy in this. Uh, you know, maybe I'd take some Viagra or something if I had to, but I don't. Uh, I don't think about uh, none of that. And number one, when he did, can you find a Negro imam that did 15 years of celibacy at the height of being juiced up, running the hills, lifting iron, and perfect physical, psychological shape, but a nigga dedicate the time to the movement? 